Have you ever been peacefully building when suddenly you get attacked by one of Minecraft's strongest players? I got dropped in an instant, but upon death, I dropped one of the most valuable powers in this server. So what would you do if this one build cost you everything? But let me slow down and explain how we even got to this point. <laughs> Without okay. further ado, everybody, Glitch SMP is going to start now. Oh shit! Let's go! Yo! I don't have anyone to go to. There's a village in the What? Oh no! Why was dead? What? Yeah, kid, you're gone. Oh, and you might be wondering how I just got crashed. Well, in the glitch SMP, you can gain powers called glitches just by completing custom advancements. Some of the powers include the freeze glitch that lets you freeze someone in place, or the crash glitch that lets you crash someone's game, or even the hero brand glitch that lets you quite literally turn into hero brand. Before I could even try getting one of these glitches, I knew I had to get some resources or else I'd get quick dropped. So I ran into the forest. Step number one to success is to get some iron. So I went to go look for some. And when did you know it? This whole fucking forest didn't have a single thing in it. After a bit of searching, I realized I had to choose a glitch to go for. So after looking at the little menu for a bit, I decided a good one that I think I could actually get was a Herobrine glitch. All I had to do was build a classic Herobrine shrine. Seems simple enough, right? I'm sure I could get it. I'm sure I won't possibly fail. So after finally finding some iron and a little bit more walking, I stumbled upon a random nether portal, which possibly could have been trapped. But you know, at that point, I had nothing to lose, so I said, so I just said, screw it, let's go in. After going in, luckily, it was not a trap. I could get that nether rack I needed. All that's left was some gold and redstone. Well, in the nether, I realized I could just get gold from the gold nuggets. It may take a little bit, but hey, at least it's guaranteed that I'll get some here. And wouldn't you know it, while I was in the nether, I saw something I didn't want to well, see in okay. game chat. The server's lovely. Another, another portal. It is. Now. Just a bit. Uh oh. It could be worse, but I feel like for fighting it can be very bad. Oh, Lonic already. Lon Lonic already got it. Someone had already gotten the Hero Brian glitch. Now that I couldn't get that glitch, I had to move my priorities. After taking another look at the glitch advancements, there was one glitch I saw people weren't going for, and that was the freeze glitch. So, with a new goal in mind, I headed straight to an ice biome. After a bit of running around in a snowy forest, I finally found what I needed. A humongous frozen lake. This is what I needed to get the freeze glitch. Now, all I had to do was break 10,000 ice blocks, which is not as simple as it seems. Finally, oh my god. So after three long, painful hours, I got the freeze glitch. So now that I have one of the most powerful abilities in the server, I feel like testing it out a bit. So I decided a way to get attention would be to build something right at spawn. So I thought of an amazing idea. I thought let's build a waffle house. So after gathering some resources, I headed to spawn so we could start the build. After a bit of building, I was visited by a certain Thai MC. It's a very important fact that I establish that I am absolutely awful at pvp and with ty being the nice gentleman he is he then told me to go into a corner and because i 100 percent trusted him i decided to go into that corner and wouldn't you know it he placed the cobweb down and said i was kidnapped he politely came up to me and told him to hand over the freeze glitch which i obviously denied listen don't move you're held hostage okay listen <laughs> you have something we want you have any idea what that is i'll give you a hint it's not anything in your inventory Ringing any bells or, um, oh, run, run, oh. we're calling me and run, we're calling me and run. And luckily a player named Quackdex showed up to save me. Yeah, after saving me, he pretty much wanted the same thing Ty did, the freeze glitch. Um, would you be willing to trade glitches? And that's when Ty offered to help me jump Quackdex so we could get his glitch. Anyway, here, here, Mad Maru, Mad Maru. I'll make you another deal. We won't kill you, you help us kill Quack. Yeah, see, he wants your glitch right now. 
he's trying to he, he shouldn't have, listen, yeah he no, wants your glitch to... right now we, we, no. we're here we can help you we can help you we can 3v1 this guy exactly he's he's light work i took the offer and immediately regretted it okay. Okay. so so mad Marie, uh we, we, okay i'm just being dumb okay guys this is not your fight to take oh okay yo so I might have just got two tapped. Maru? I don't think this was very smart of you guys. He had pots. He had freaking pots. Huh. Well then. Bro. It's a guess. Maru, uh, try and spin back. I'm trying to help you. No, so, I I give you the effect glitch, your freezing glitch, right now, and I'll let you go. You oh, say? that's a good deal. Huh? Huh? I see. Okay, okay, we can trade. Yeah, we can make it. Let's make it. Let's make it. Okay, let's both go at the same time though, and then once we see, we both. Oh, it we go okay ready yeah I i'm trusting you right here otherwise you're dead bro i'm sorry okay all right after all that i had to give my freeze glitch away as i tried to head back to my base to get some resources i realized someone was following me I was saved by Quack X one more time. But after a couple minutes, I suddenly felt like something wasn't right. That's when Quack X and Ty both hit me at the same exact time, both trying to kill me. I obviously died, causing me to drop my glitch that I just traded with Quack X. After all my hard work, Trying to build Waffle House is what made me lose everything. But now I have to gear back up and train. I can't let this ever happen again. And I wish I could tell you more about the Glitch SMP, but unfortunately, it closed shortly after this. And special thanks to our sponsor of today's video, Noctohost. Noctohost is one of the most affordable and one of the most reliable server hosters out there at the moment. So if you want to get on the action and get a server of your own, make sure to use code MADMARU at checkout for 15% off on your first month.